My name is Jennifer Lane Datchuk. I'm a ceramic artist and also a professor of ceramics at the Southwest School of Art in San Antonio, Texas. The most rewarding part of my work are the conversations that happen from the kind of extremely difficult topics I'm dealing with in terms of conflict as experienced with identity, race, and gender. These come from personal experiences that have happened with me and my family of kind of navigating this world as the other, as a half, of feeling like I'm an imposter when we live in a world where we question and strive for authenticity. And those conversations happen with people who are also dealing with the same thing of where do you go, where do you fit into, and just how do you find a place in this world when everyone's trying to fit you in a box. So to be able to connect to people on that level is probably the most rewarding part of my work because then I don't feel like I'm alone and then they don't feel like alone. Art makes us have a huge connection to humanity. What I know now that I didn't know when I was first starting was just how hard it would be to make it as an artist or just how hard it is to keep pushing through that feast or famine that comes with being an artist of how do you work through your failures, how do you define your success, what keeps you going and that there will be many roadblocks in the way, but how you pick yourself up from that and put it back into your work is what I've learned now. But it took a long time post-school to get there. My work always comes from a narrative and personal perspective. And that how do I take something private and make it public? And how do I take something personal and make it universal? I am most excited right now in that on inauguration day I, la I launched the Porcelain Power Factory. I am a one-person factory where I have been reclaiming the past lives of objects. For one, it's a mold I found in an abandoned ceramic supply store of a very over-sexualized female form that you cast and you make a porcelain mug. And my first reaction was, I hate these things. I see them in souvenir shops. But then I thought, I don't want any more of these to be made. So with that mold, I started casting them, and I realized I had a found cat mold in my studio. So the cat onto woman came out on, during a time where women were talked about and constantly bragged about by our current president. So I make the Pussy Power mug through the Porcelain Power Factory, and it raises money for Planned Parenthood. And so I'm interested in, in taking back the original idea of these objects and, and owning the power that I have as a creator in them and putting them out there in the world as these powerful objects.